story. Several women confronted the staff at the We Spa in Los Angeles back in June. Now, there was one woman using the spa that day that hadn't been told that in America you're required to lie about everything. This woman thought you could just kind of report what you see. You could tell obvious truths. So she reported that there was a dude, a biological man, clearly biologically male, wandered around the women's section of the spa with his junk hanging out, and the spa wouldn't do anything about it. Here was the exchange. It's okay for a man to go into the women's section, show his penis around the other women, young little girls under age. Your spa, we spa, condone that. Is that what you're saying? Like I asked. It's so he, so he can stay there. He can stay there? What sexual orientation? I see a it lets me know he's a man. He he's a man. He is a man. He is not no female. He is not a female, sweetie. Okay, girls down there, other women who are highly offended for what they just saw. And you did nothing. Absolutely nothing. In fact, you sided with him. Now we don't know the identity of the woman whose voice you heard. We very much like to hire her there being a shortage in America right now of people who say obvious things and then stick with it. Over at Slate, their entirely non-binary staff was deeply offended by this. They call the video you just saw a, quote, transphobic hoax. But journalist Andy No, who tells the truth under all circumstances, is reporting that, quote, four women and a minor girl all came forward to allege that a man called Darren a G. Marriger was partially erect, I'm sorry to repeat this, in the women's section of the Wee Spa. So it turns out on Monday, <clears throat> excuse me, charges of indecent exposure were discreetly filed against this guy. He's also facing felony charges for indecent exposure in a separate incident. So this was not his first time. You will not be surprised to learn. Andy you know, broke this story. He joins us tonight. Andy, thanks so much for coming on. So it turns out it wasn't a transphobic hoax. It was totally real, correct? That's right. From the beginning, the establishment press was echoing the messages from the radical trans activists, which was trying to uh, discredit uh, the woman who uh, recorded that video and to cast doubt on the entire narrative. Uh, as you just said, Slate and other publications said it was a hoax or a likely hoax. And as a gay man, LGBT stories interest me, but as a journalist, the truth matters the most. And the most, uh, and, the, and the truth here is that four women and a minor girl, all people of color, came forward to authorities, despite the pressure that they were facing from the public, um, to come forward as victims. And the LAPD were completely silent for uh, two months throughout this investigation, which um, seemed like they were trying to make the story go away or um, it was giving some legitimacy that, that there wasn't uh, merit to the original claims. But uh, I kept digging and I saw that on Monday of this week there were some discreet charges uh, filed against uh, the suspect and looking into this individual's history, you see that there are prior um, sex crime convictions. This is a registered sex offender in the state of California. Oh, um, I interviewed this person. Uh, Moraga uh, denies all any wrongdoing and, and says that he's actually, oh, excuse me, she's the victim of a transphobic um, sexual harassment. So um, I think what's disappointing about uh, how this all played out is that um, the people who previously say believe all women, when women and girls were speaking out, they were silenced. Yeah, yeah the Black Lives Matter people, when an actual black lady says something obvious, tell her to shut up. Right. It's, That's right. Man, it's just, it, it unfolds according to script every single time. I appreciate you're adding real facts to this and your reporting in general. Andy, no, thank you.